What's up guys, my name is Solus Baby, and today I want to talk a little bit about Gambit and what Bungie's done, how we're going to proceed in the future, and how I think that other games coming out will affect Destiny 2 and Destiny 3 in the future whenever it comes out. Notice the fact that this is a video about Gambit and I'm playing Crucible. That is a testament to how badly Gambit has been broken right now. Even though I don't like Gambit all that much, I actually started to enjoy it a little bit while I was grinding for the breakneck. However, right now, the bounty that they put out for that pinnacle weapon is absolutely sabotaging their own game. It makes absolutely no sense to me why they would do it that way. 40 game completions. It has absolutely nothing to do with winning, completing the match for that matter. You see way more people sitting there AFK than anything else at this particular moment. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. 40 nightfall completions, or activity completions as the Vanguard puts it, that makes sense. You have to get it done. Crucible. You have to get the rank 2100. Have to get all these kills with a grenade launcher. That makes sense. It's difficult. It's skill based. It should take you all season to do it if you're a casual player. But 40 game completions in Gambit? That doesn't make any sense. You're not giving anybody any incentive to actually play the game the way it's intended to. It is quicker to lose the first round and lose the second round if you've already lost than it is for you to fight and try to go to the third round. I mean, think about how long it's going to take if each one of your game goes to the third round. It's going to be an extra, what, 10 minutes per thing? I mean, if you keep going at that rate, you'll get this thing done January. I understand why people are doing it. I don't agree with it, but it's Bungie's fault for putting a bounty in place like that one. And I think things like that are kind of the reason that Bungie's dropping the ball on a lot of things. However, I do like the way that Forsaken has been playing out. I think it's a fantastic DLC and probably the best one we've ever seen with Destiny, Destiny 1 included. It didn't really have a whole lot of gems in it, so it didn't really have a whole lot to live up to, but Last Wish is a great raid. It's fantastic. They're finally starting to implement some story. The forges that are coming out, I'm hoping there's going to be some tidbits in there that we can enjoy. Aldrin being resurrected, he's now a guardian, as it would seem. It's awesome, we're finally starting to get a glimpse into what we should be getting with these types of games. Everybody talks about Anthem coming out, and I disagree that it's going to kill Destiny. It's an entirely different genre of game. People flocked to Destiny because at the time what was out was first person shooters on console, that's what people mostly played, right? RPGs on console, Fallout. Skyrim, stuff like that. That's what people played, and they flocked to Destiny because it was multiplayer, first-person shooter, RPG action. And that's what it still is. That's what it needs to be. That's why people love it. What other game can you go in with six of your friends towards a coordinated task and have a blast getting your butt kicked by a difficult boss or a difficult challenge and at the end have such a rewarding feeling whenever you get it done? It's fantastic. There's nothing wrong with the way that Destiny is supposed to be, and everything wrong with the way that Destiny has tried to implement it, and I'm not saying I know the ins and outs of Bungie, I, I don't, but Activision behind it probably has a lot to do with the reasons that it's broken right now. They're trying to push for more money. That's what Activision does. It's a cash cow. Why do you think a new Call of Duty comes out every year? But Destiny is not like that. It's something that we sink our teeth into. And we have a blast doing it. I, I don't know how many hours I've put into this game, and I still have so much fun. It's fantastic, and I think Destiny 3 has a chance to redeem the franchise, because we all know Destiny 2 was a flop at launch. Curse of Osiris was probably the worst DLC we've seen, worse than Crota's End. I didn't really have that much of a problem with Crota's End, but everybody hates it, so I reference that as a, a point there. I think that Destiny 3 can do this really well. I don't think games like Anthem are going to kill it. I think Division 2 has probably the best chance to redeem not only itself, but perhaps take a huge toll on Destiny's player base. Because we all know that the player base on Destiny has dropped, but it's not going anywhere. And especially if they keep doing things right, like Forsaken, like Last Wish, I think that they'll be able to take this into a good direction and keep this franchise going for the 10-year plan that they had initially whenever they started this thing. With all that being said though, they need to stop dropping the ball on things like pinnacle weapons.
that just it's an oversight you know there was somebody sitting there in the office when they came up with this idea and went hey gamers are gonna cheese that they could just go afk stick a rubber band to their controller and they'll get this done in a day some higher up went nah let's not race the resources they'll never figure that out you've got millions of people playing your game what are you doing and I'm not bashing Bungie. I think they're a fantastic company, and I have absolutely loved this game. It's probably the game I've put the most hours into, maybe other than Dark Souls. I, I love it. It's fantastic. And I think that it's really going to be able to go in the right direction. That's really all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Just kind of wanted to put that out there that I think we're moving in the right direction with the way Forsaken was. A little ball droppage here on the Pinnacle Weapons doesn't make me too nervous about games like Anthem and Division 2. I think Destiny is still going to be here two, three, four, five years from now, and it's going to keep getting better and better. It, if Activision keeps their hands out of it and lets Bungie do what they want to do with it and do it the right way. Other than that, guys, if you've liked my little commentary here, uh, hit a like button, subscribe to my channel for any more Destiny content, and maybe some of my more opinionated stuff later on. We'll see. Uh, other than that, guys, have a good one.